So here's the narration on my table saw wing rudder table hold down station. Uh, molded up some cherry, made a big tabletop if you will, glued it up. Made these clamps, uh, just took a photocopy of a picture of a rockler, traced it on a paper, hope for the best. The knobs were from Princess Auto, uh, four or five of them for ten dollars maybe, something like that. Uh, so the yellow plate is a cutting board from the dollar store, which is mounted on my old black and dark router. Uh, it is not a plunge router. That is a better one, and I uh, will get another cutting board one of these days and mount that in. It's a it's a plywood box, half inch plywood box, sealed up with a dust port on the bottom and a remote power supply. Um, so you throw that in, and it took a bit of uh, a bit of routing and a bit of cutting, but there it is and um, I made this dust collector hood on the back um, with another uh, knob and T-bolt so the bolts were Lee Valley uh, want to say four dollars for ten no more than five for sure they fit in there the, and the knobs already covered the rest was just scrap an old um, vacuum port if I don't want to use that I have the bottom vacuum port for the dustier MDF kind of work that's where that goes and I have a little just cut a little two inch chunk of the t-track and epoxied it on the back just to hold things so I, I kind of like that system and um, so yeah so over here you'll see the track I think I have a foot left I think it was four dollars or twelve dollars for four feet something like that cut it up with a hacksaw clean up the ends with the um, sander and then in here I just use plain old dollar store epoxy mix it up in a little plastic cup uh, took about two of those packages to do it and I think they're about a dollar fifty each um, so that's how it turned out so both sides of the saw now have cherry wings they're five quarter very stable very solid they didn't cost me very much um, you know plywood malamine anything would work like that 